Welcome back everybody, Bully Neck here, and it is time again for a Mods of the Week video. This video is all Forge 115 mods. I'm going to start making videos loader and version specific. That way if you're playing a Forge 115 mod pack, you can find one video that will be loaded with all the mods that you want to check out. This doesn't mean that I'm not doing fabric mods anymore or that I'm not doing 112 mods or 114 mods. I'm still doing all the mods. It's just all the off-camera stuff that I used to do, I'm putting in now. It was all wasted time. I would spend probably 40 to 50 hours a week installing and checking out mods that didn't make it into the videos. If that stuff was interesting enough for me to want to check it out, you guys probably wouldn't mind seeing it either. So this means I'm going to be putting out way more mods, way more videos, and now each mod loader and each version will get their own videos. And yeah, I am sorry for talking so long at the beginning of this. Usually I get right to it, but I got to say one more thing. We just hit a thousand subscribers, you guys. Thank you so much. This is amazing to me. I can't believe it. I've been doing this for so long, and honestly, I didn't know if I would ever hit a thousand. Thank you guys so much. You guys are amazing. You're some of the coolest people I've ever seen. I love the comments down below. I want to give a shout out to some of the comments. Here we go. I'm going to throw them up on screen. Thank you guys. A thousand would never have been possible without people like you. But yeah, that's enough talking. I'm sorry this took so long today. Let's get to the mods. The World of Wonder mod is focused on adding biomes with a more mystical and magical flair. Currently, it only adds one biome, Dandelion Fields. This rare biome features giant dandelions. The dandelion can also be found in this biome, which, like a wolf, can be tamed and will fight by your side. To tame the dandelion, you use a small flower, to breed the dandelion, you use a large flower, and to heal the dandelion, you use bone meal. Not only that, but you can also shear dandelions to get a renewable supply of dandelion fluff. You can use dandelion fluff to make a dandelion hat, which when you have it equipped, gives you slow fall. The stems of the dandelions can be used like wood, and it adds all the different items that you would expect to find from it, such as slabs, stairs, Fence posts, fence gates, doors, trap doors, pressure plates, buttons, all the wood stuff. I think this mod is doing an amazing job so far, and I can't wait to see the next biome they add. The Wandering Trader Improvements mod aims to improve the Wandering Trader, as many players currently just consider it to be an annoyance. Here we can see all of the more common, easy to get items that they've removed from the Wandering Trader and replaced them with harder to find more biome specific, and some loot that's even dungeon loot. Some of the new trades that are more mentionable are enchanted books, turtle eggs, wither roses, enchanted golden apples, and bees nests that have three bees in them, along with all of the newly implemented mighty potions, which are beefier versions of current potions. The mod also adds splash potions, lingering potions, and arrows of all the different mighty potion variants. What I think is one of the coolest new features of this mod is occasionally when you try to trade with a wandering trader, they'll end up being an illusioner in disguise. If you succeed at beating the disguised illusioner, they'll drop totems of decoy. If you right click while holding a totem of decoy, it will create an exact copy of yourself and force all mobs to attack that instead of you. Very cool new feature. I love this a lot. I really wish I was able to try to fight the illusioner in disguise, but I'm not kidding, I spawned hundreds of wandering traders and I wasn't able to get it to happen. The Spawner Locator mod will help find spawners around you by adding an overlay of the color of your choice. By default, the hotkey to bring up the interface like this is the L key. Here, we can customize everything about this mod. We can customize which spawners will show, what colors the spawners will show up as, and we can even change the color that it will show up as based on how far it is from us. Here I'm going to set up all zombie spawners that are far away to show as red. And I can see one there now, and because it's red, I know that's a zombie spawner. And watch, as I get closer, it's going to turn to that purple color to show how close we are. Very cool. And the mod developer says, of course this is not for cheating, so this will only work in single player games. The Magical Forest mod brings the Magical Forest biome from Thaumcraft to Minecraft 1.15.2. The Magical Forest Biome is a green cyan biome with a lot of big mushrooms and trees, a lot of caves with ores, and you can even find villages and other vanilla or modded structures. And since this is a 1.15.2 mod, we have about a 5% chance of finding bees. 
This mod is compatible with Biomes of Plenty, Terraforged, Traverse, and probably other biome generator mods. The mod developer has left out a few things, like silverwood and greatwood trees, because he doesn't want to steal the textures from Thaumcraft. He has, however, mentioned down in the comments that if there's an artist that wants to help him create textures for these, he is willing to implement them. Professor Shep's food mod adds three new crops, onions, rice, and tomatoes, as well as a ton of food. Food and ingredients to make food. Just some of the items that it adds are cereal, cooked eggs, sandwiches, sushi, pizza, pizza slices, cheeseburgers, hot dogs, french fries, spaghetti with meatballs, muffins, and ice cream. According to the developer, this is a work in progress, so I'm assuming that means they're going to be adding more too. Yeah, I really don't know what else to say, just adds a whole bunch of food. Diable Flower Pots is a straightforward mod that just adds diable flower pots of all vanilla colors. I've said it before and I'll say it again, these little touches like this are what make a mod pack really stand out to me. The recipe for creating the diable flower pots, you surround a die with flower pots and there you go, you get eight of that color, which kind of stinks that you have to make eight of every color that you want, but they're pretty cheap, so honestly, it's no big deal. The graffiti mod allows you to write and draw freely on walls, floors, and ceilings, pretty much anywhere you want. The mod introduces pens of every color, and each pen has two modes, drawing mode and writing mode. You simply shift right click in the air to switch between modes. Once you have your pen selected, you right click an area to create a canvas, and then right click that area again to edit the canvas. In writing mode, you simply type whatever you want it to say, and then you can adjust the position, whether it's bold, italic, underlined, or struck through. And in drawing mode, you just pick whatever color pen you want, and you can just simply draw wherever you want, whatever you want. It's pretty cool. So maybe you want to paint amazing landscapes like this, or maybe you just want to paint mustaches on your trees. Whatever you want to do, you can do it. Graffiti is a pretty cool mod, pretty unique. I like it a lot. You guys should give it a try. The Animal Weapons and Armor mod adds different types of weapons, tools, armor, and other equipment based on the different mobs in the game. Each item is obtained as a rare drop from the mob that the item was based on. Currently, it only adds the blaze bow, but the blaze bow is very cool. It's a fiery variant of the bow. Any arrows that you fire from the blaze bow will be set on fire and cause fire damage to the target. You can't enchant this bow with flame, but obviously you don't need to. It already has flame. The blaze bow is a rare drop from blaze, and one of the very cool features of it is that you can actually repair it using blaze rod, which is pretty awesome. I love the idea of this mod, and I really hope the developer sticks with it and keeps adding new things, because this is a very cool feature to add to Minecraft. Cinematic Carts is a mod that does just one thing. It turns your camera when you're sitting in a minecart and the minecart turns. Minecraft used to do this on its own, and at some point, it just stopped doing it. I'm not sure if it's a bug or if it was by choice, but for some reason, it just stopped doing it. Cinematic Minecarts returns this feature to Minecraft. I have noticed kind of a, a little bit of a wonky behavior. If you put a tight turn right after a drop, it's like the camera doesn't know how to handle it. It's like it gives you an extra 90 degrees on your turn, Hopefully the developers get this worked out, but even if they don't, this is still a great addition to your mod pack. The Daylight mod adds a visual indicator that by default is in the top left corner of your screen. It smoothly animates to show in a new and unique fashion not only what time of day it is, but also what biome you're in. It's pretty cool. There's times in Minecraft when I'll strip mine and spelunk and end up hundreds if not thousands of blocks away and spend hours underground. It would be cool while mining to have such a nice way of seeing what time it is, and I think even more important, what biome you're in. Sometimes you might be tempted to go to the surface if you see that you're in a biome that has that needed item you've been looking for. Currently, it doesn't have a texture for all biomes, but it would be cool if it could somehow integrate this into it. Maybe just some text that says the current biome. Here's an example of it changing textures whenever you change biome. So far, I've only seen these three textures. I'm not sure if there's more. I've done quite a bit of exploring. It's got the green grassy hill, the sandy hill, and the flat ocean. And if you want to change the placement of the indicator, take a look in the config file. It's very easy to understand. All the options are written out for you. 
Unfortunately, that is all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Do me a big favor and let me know down in the comments what you think about the new ideas, how I plan on doing this, if you think it's a good idea, bad idea. If you didn't like this video, do not subscribe. But if you did like it, maybe consider subscribing. I make videos just like this all the time. Thank you so much for watching. Keep playing. Keep having fun. We will see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, we finally hit a thousand, you guys. I can't believe it. I do plan. Uh, I think I might make a thousand subscriber special. I was thinking maybe I would make like a montage of all the videos, some of the funny moments, sort of a, I don't know, a trip down memory lane of where I started and, and where we're at so far. Let me know what you guys think. If you think I should make something like that, let me know. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for sticking around. We will see you guys next time. Bye.